All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ETZ Tutorials, and today I'm making a video that I should have made a long time ago. So this video is going to be going over how to transfer your project from Unity 3 or Unity 3.5 into the new Unity 4. So uh, the reason why I waited so long to come out with this video is that it took me a while to figure out the exact technique to switch over to Unity 4, because I did uh, copy over a couple of projects into Unity 4 and it screwed up my projects. And I believe that that's probably happened to a lot of people out there and that is why a lot of people don't like the new unity 4 is because transferring over to unity 4 is screwing up your projects and you're just ending there and saying i don't like unity 4. Uh, well, if you transfer your projects over the right way, you can actually flawlessly transfer over your project from Unity 3 to Unity 4, and it will just transfer over perfectly, nice and easy, no errors, um, and should be a pretty smooth, painless process. Um, so, let's go ahead and stop talking and just jump into how we are actually going to do this. So, uh, as you can see right here, it, actually let me uh, zoom in a little bit more so that you can see a little bit better, but here is the Unity 4.0 installer. Um, so I'm pretty sure you guys know how to install a program onto a computer, um, but the essential step that you guys really need to know is to not click next on everything. So go ahead and click next here, go ahead and click I agree, go ahead and click next as far as importing the example projects and the Unity web player and the mono develop and all of that good stuff. Go ahead and click next on that and then here is where you need to slow down. So this is the spot where it's letting us choose where to install the new Unity. So by default, it's going to stick it in a folder called Unity. So what you wanna do is install Unity 4 into a new folder, otherwise it will overwrite Unity 3 or Unity 3.5, and you need Unity 3.5 uh, in order to make this process for work. You need to have Unity 3 and Unity 4 both installed on your computer simultaneously. So make sure that Unity 4 doesn't overwrite Unity 3. So you can either change the folder's name that Unity 3 is in, or you need to change the folder name that you're going to be installing Unity 4 in. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click on Browse right there, and then I'm going to go up here, and then you'd pretty much just want to go probably on your C uh, drive, and then Program 86 files, and then you'd create a new folder and call it, I don't know, Unity 4, simple as that. Uh, so you got a new folder and then you select that folder and now we have that folder selected and then you click on install. But I already have Unity 4 installed so I am going to click on cancel and yes I do want to quit the setup. So yes, that is what you're going to want to do to install Unity 4. So the number one key is to have Unity 3 and Unity 4 both on your computer at the same time. So. Uh, I have right here in this window, this is Unity 4, and we are going to start in Unity 4, and as you can see, I'm in a project, and I'm not going to use this particular project uh, for the example, I just happen to have it open. Um, oh, another quick tip for you guys is that if you... Uh, are a little bit confused or like during this whole process you're not sure whether you're in unity 3 or unity 4 because I mean they look exactly the same um, go to your project window and then if you have this uh, split in the middle and all of these little search things and basically the new project window you that's the quickest way to be able to tell if you're in unity 4 I think you can also go to help about unity and then it will tell you in this little pop-up window here. So that is another way of telling uh, which version of Unity you happen to be in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, uh, New Project, and then I'm going to uh, Browse. I'm going to put it uh, just, I'm going to actually put it here. And actually, no, 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 no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder in that general area and I'm just going to call this uh, project transfer to unity 4 you know whatever you actually want to name it and then you select that folder whoops make sure it's selected and then go to select folder um, and then 
go ahead and actually you will definitely want to leave all of these blank. Don't import any of these because if uh, you can import them later if you want. But if you import one of these, it could kind of interfere uh, if you already have some of these standard assets in your previous project. Because if you do, we will be transferring them over into your new project. So for the most part, generally leave these all unchecked. If you are unsure, leave them unchecked. Um, so I'm going to click on create and then I'm going to click on this window so you can see what's going on. And now we have a new blank project inside of Unity 4. So that is the first step. The next step is to open up your project inside of Unity 3. So I have Unity 3 set up and then let me go ahead and click on the magnifying glass thingy. And as you can see inside of the project window, I have the old project window. It had doesn't do any of the fancy split down the middle thing or any of the little search features so you can quickly tell that this is unity 3 um, so uh, pretty much the uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to take everything inside of our project window and put it inside of a custom package and then import that custom package into unity 4 but there's a couple of steps that we need to do first and all of those steps let me go back to the magnifying glass are going to inside of edit I gotta move down a little bit more edit project settings and render settings and you're gonna want to go through everything inside of project settings let me actually change the settings so that you can see it a little bit better there we go so we're gonna want to first go to render settings and in my particular case uh, it isn't um, I haven't done anything fancy with the render, render settings. I think that all of these red, render settings are actually set to default. So potentially I could actually skip over this. But just to be safe, let's go into Unity 4, which I have right here. And let's go to Edit, Render Settings. And then we have our render settings over here in Unity 4. So I'm actually going to move Unity 4 over here. And then I'm going to move Unity 3 right here so that I can see both Unity 3 and Unity 4 at the same time. So just to clarify, this is Unity 3 and, I won't, no, no, this is Unity 4 and this is Unity 3. You want to have Unity 4 on top because you're going to be copying everything over from Unity 3 to Unity 4 manually. So first we're going to take a look at the variable fog. We have fog unchecked, so we're going to make sure that uh, fog is unchecked in Unity 4 and that those two match up. But like I said earlier, all of these are just left on the default settings. So I actually don't need to change anything because these all match up perfectly. So let's go back to Unity 3. Let's, whoops, let me move my window so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And then let's go to Edit, Project Settings, uh, and then let's go to, I guess let's do Input. So this uh, inside of input, I actually do have a couple of uh, unique input variables and input functions that I made that I'm going to want to copy over. So I'm going to now go into Unity 4 and then edit project settings input. And I have, oh wait, I need to open up accesses. Eh, there we go. All right, and now, as you can see, I have all of the default input uh, variables inside of there. So the uh, I'm going to want to, let's see, I already got jumps. I want to add sprint, use, and pause. So let's go ahead and open that up. And sprint is left shift, as you can see right here. So let's go into Unity 4 and, whoops, let's see, oh, that is, I accidentally put in the wrong number. I think I want to put in the number 16. Yes. Okay, there we go. So you want to basically just add one to the number so that you make your list longer. Uh, and then it duplicates the uh, one at the very bottom. So I have two jumps now. So let's change the name of the new jump into uh, Sprint. And make sure you copy over the name exactly. Capitalization and everything. Make sure it is exactly the same. And we want to change the positive button to left shift. Just like that. And then, so we got sprint. We got use. So let's add use. So let's now change it to, actually let's change it to 18. So I don't need to do that more than once. 
Um, so we need to make one that, let me move it up so that you can see it a little bit better. Let's change that to use. And uh, use, I believe, is just E. And then um, we have pause over here. So let's scroll down. So it's called pause, and the positive button is escape. And there were no other settings in that input function or input. What's it called? Is I don't know what it's called. I'm, I'm going to call it a function. There might be a more official name, but I'm going to call it a function. So let's go to sprint. Let's change this to pause and make sure the spelling is perfect. The spelling is perfect, and we're going to do escape. I can't see when you put a window in my face. Thank you. Get away. All right. Escape. There we go. Perfect. So now our input menu is done. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to do that for every single menu inside of uh, edit project settings. So let's go back into Unity 3, and I'm going to jump to just the one that I care about. So let's jump into tags and layers. That's a very important one, tags and layers. So uh, the nice thing about tags and layers is, the, is that we can do tags and layers at the same time. So let's uh, go into edit, project settings, tags. All right, so we have the tags and layers uh, input settings, or not inputs. I don't know what I'm saying, but we have the tags and layers showing up in Unity 3 and Unity 4. As you can see, we have Unity 3 on the right-hand side and Unity 4 on the left-hand side. So, tags. Uh, we need four tags. And the first tag is going to be moving platform. The next tag is going to be enemy. And then bullet door trigger. And the last one is blank. So, uh, now we go down here to... Uh, the layers, and then we add player, whoops, bullet, eh, why can't I type right now, bullet, and enemy bullet. Alright, so just like that, our tags and layers are done, and then let's go back to edit, project settings, uh, physics, because we will want to copy over the physics, wait, but now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't think I actually changed any of the physics in this particular version, so I guess we can skip over that step. But uh, if you did change the physics settings in your version, you are definitely going to want to copy those over as well. Anything inside of, make sure I can, you guys can see it, anything inside of project settings and render settings, uh, you are going to want to copy over. So I'm just going to give this a quick look. Uh, the quality settings, I believe I did change. But the quality settings in my particular game don't matter. Uh, but in your game, they might matter. So, uh, I mean, I would just, uh, I'm just because I'm doing a live tutorial, I'm skipping over this really quickly. Uh, but for your guys' sakes, you should probably slow down and really make sure that you copy over everything and that you get everything copied over perfectly. So, I think that I got everything copied over. Um, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to go into Unity 3. Uh, I'm going to turn on my magnifying glass so that you guys can see. And then I'm going to go into the project window and I'm going to select everything. Um, and if you're doing any sort of uh, project merging, like you're merging two projects together and you're combining files uh, or for just file organization in general, it might be a good idea to put everything inside of a folder before you export it. But because I am uh, importing it into a completely blank project, uh, it doesn't matter that it's all in a folder. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to, where does it go? Uh, export package. Make sure you guys can see that over there. So I'm going to go to export package. Make sure that everything is checked. You just want to export everything in your project. So I'm going to go ahead and go into export. And then I'm actually, where did I save? Um, what did I call it? Project transfer to Unity 4. I'm actually going to save it inside of that. And I'm going to call this old project package. And then... Uh, because my game actually had barely any files in it, it was really small, so that took only a few seconds. But for your guys' games, that might take up to half an hour if you have a really big game. 
Um, so just to forewarn you that there is some potential loading time that might happen there. So uh, let's now go inside of Unity 4. So as you get, uh, no, wrong button. So click that, click that. All right. So uh, we don't need Unity 3 anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. So now we are inside of just Unity 4. And then I'm going to go to our Assets folder. And I'm going to make the screen bigger so that you can see it. I'm going to go to the Asset folder. And then I'm going to move the window up so that you guys can actually see it. Asset folder. Uh, import package. Ah, i got to move the window over again. Actually, no. I will switch to that so that you guys can see. This should work. So assets, import package, custom package. And then we get a little window. And this is uh, the folder in which we saved it in because I saved it inside of the new project folder, uh, the old project package. So we're going to import that because that is what we called it. Uh, once again, make sure that you have everything checked and import. And that should only take a few seconds for me and then you're done so let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and open up our test scene and it says uh are you sure you want to uh delete the scene uh, whatever the untitled scene there's nothing in there so click no um but i mean if you're a unity user you should know how that works um but yeah and then let's go ahead and click maximize on play and play just to make sure that it is working um and it looks like there is uh, one thing that I potentially forgot to put in there. So let's go to, where's the prefab? Uh, bullet, rigid body, enemy, layer, enemy, bullet. I actually need to edit my physics settings. So project settings, physics. I need to do enemy bullet, not affect enemy bullet. And now if I play the game... There we go. That's the way I wanted it to happen. Um, so yeah, um, I don't really know why I had my project set up that particular way, but I mean, that is the technique that you guys are going to want to use to switch over to Unity 4. Um, so yeah, I mean, there might be little hiccups here and there. Um, I've had problems in the past with um, what was the particular script, the combined children script. Um, and yeah, I mean, in general, you might have to do a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of fixing once you bring it into Unity 4. But if you follow this uh, whole procedure and you back up your project, still make sure you back up the project beforehand before you delete uh, the new project. I mean, before you delete your current project, back up your old project like multiple times. Always, always have backups of your project. Um, but yeah, besides that, I mean, that's pretty much how to do it. Um, so if you uh, happen to know any other tips or tricks that other people might find helpful, definitely let me know in the comments below because I might have not have gone over everything. I think that I did, but in case I didn't, let me know. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully this video didn't come out too late and hopefully those of you who wanted to switch over to Unity 4 can now switch over to Unity 4. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. And until my next episode, I will see you guys later. And keep making games. Actually, wait, no, I, I meant to press this button. Okay, see you guys later, and keep making games.